All right. So let's talk about changing because we always like to change and challenge this generalist versus specialist ideas. So our culture has so pushed and promoted the idea that the only way to succeed in your career is to specialize. This idea can actually be detrimental to innovation, coming up with better solutions and problem solving. Let me add this because I don't want you to think that I'm looking at specialists um, as like we have no need for them or anything like that. That's not the case, but we have so hyper focused on this one idea that we've pushed every single other alternative idea to the side for this basically quick fix or quick path to success. And that's to specialize. So I just want to offer alternatives for those of us out there who look at ourselves in the mirror going, I have no idea what to specialize in. I've never had to specialize. What is this concept? What is this idea? And then those feelings of, I will never be successful. I can never start a business on my own because I can't specialize. I have nothing that I would specialize in. So I want to offer you an alternative to this one idea. So there are other ideas So pick the best from the ideas. Okay. The idea to specialize can be found in another, in a number of places, but let's start with Dr. Erickson's theory of deliberate practice or the 10,000 hour rule. So the idea can be found in so many popular books. Have you read talent is overrated, deep work, grit, or the outliers? There are others, but these are the ones that I've read. <laughs> so, so I'm not speaking um, or trying to challenge this idea of a specialist in a vacuum. I have read these ideas, uh, as you can see, a few, um, a number of times. So, all of these books, to some degree, base their ideas on the theory of deliberate practice. So, the basic idea is that the accumulated hours of training is the sole factor in skill development, no matter the domain. And that summary was taken from range and page five, if you're interested in knowing where to find it. So can we challenge this popularly accepted idea? Is it okay if we kind of question the status of the, the only way status that this idea has? It's a little scary when you start venturing out of the stream that everyone is traveling up or swimming against the, all the fish going in the same direction, but we need to do this every now and again. It is important that you ask the questions. Is this really the best way or the only way? Is it okay to change the generalist versus specialist ideas? Can we change the idea that being a specialist is the only way to be successful in any field. Can we give ourselves permission to at least explore outside of the box?